do is go through the we'll go through what Chavez is. So we'll try to uh, learn a little bit more about Eon, a little more in depth. What is Shabbos? So we're going to divide it into four four sections. First, we're going to do what Shabbos is. A lot of it is written, so you can uh, you can read up on it. In base matters, but Chiddush will try to say something interesting. But it's, it, a lot of it is written, and the next three parts is really interesting because what's what is a chanel Shabbos? How do you get into Shabbos? Which is a a sugi shleima, which is an entire topic, because there is no um, natural transition period, right? To get to Shabbos, it could be Friday afternoon, one minute, and the next minute could be Shabbos, if you don't prepare. Which means there's nothing. There's nothing on the on astrological, phen- physiological phenomenon that changes from Shabbos to after Lichbenshin. Now, yes, yes, on a higher madriga, of course, a more pon of shaladim, a person's face is changed on Shabbos. I'm talking about on a physical level, you can't see anything. So therefore, the chon is very important. How do you transition? That's one thing. Then also, what is... So for example, for so for example, let's say... Uh, um, a person is there's natural tr- transition. Let's say, for example, a person gets married, or a person has a bris, or a person uh, has a major event in their life. They become okay, a bar mitzvah. They become mature. So there's a physiological thing that happens in the body, and it's marked. So any any transition, the, the Torah always marks transitions. It's very important to mark transitions. Um, Every age has a transitional period, and then it's marked. This age is marked when there's big transitions. But then there's things that are transitional that are nothing... Let's say, let's say a little something. If Shabbos would start by Tzais, right? Because it wouldn't be Tzais Shabbos, and it wouldn't be even Safik. But Shabbos would start when it, when it turns dark. Then you can say, okay, I'm doing before Shabbos Friday, and when it turns dark, it's Shabbos. But it's not like that, right? You're going to Kabbal Shabbos before it turns dark. But if it's sunset, like, if you like. Yeah, but we would even do it before sunset, right? The Shki is going to be sunset. But you like, be like candles before. There's, there's something about the Hachana that's very important. Um, you see this all with all the Yom Tov, and there's an idea of, of preparing. There's, you know, Shleshi Yom Kaid Machag. There's an idea of, of, of preparing 30 days before. But otherwise, Pesach enters. If you didn't prepare, then you're not gonna you're not gonna experience it correctly. Anything that is a that is a physical thing, the body itself prepares. There's something physiological that's being prepared. So achon is very important. Preparing for Shabbos is very important, especially in these days. Especially in these days. Then we want to talk about Kabbalah Shabbos. How do you actually do Kabbalah Shabbos? What how what is Kabbalah Shabbos? What is the idea? Why do we say these? These uh, Prakim and Tillim, why do you see these verses in Tillim? Why, why, who, who created Kabbalah Shabbos? What is the Kavana Kabbalah Shabbos? But Kabbalah Shabbos is a very, very mystical, very Kabbalistic structure. The whole Kabbalah Shabbos comes from, most of it comes from from the Ramak and Tamidari. So that's where the, the source is. So we have to discuss it. And then Suda Shabbos, the meal of Shabbos. That the, there's a certain sort of, a certain form of, of, of Shabbos that you, besides Kiddush and, and uh, Lech Mishnah, but just the fact that you eat basar or the dogim and uh, and you drink soup, this is the the the, 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 the normal suda shabbos. Why why is it like that? What 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 particularly is connected with the actually the machala shabbos? That's what we want to do. We want to do these four things. So the first thing is to discuss is what is shabbos. What is shabbos? Of course, it's a very big conversation, but let's try to just a few points here. What is the essence of Shabbos? So there's on every and every single thing in this world. There's always the chitzaynistic thing, the external thing, and there's the pnimius of something. There's the internal reality. There's the chitzaynist, the external, and the internal. What is Shabbos be chitzaynist? What is on the external level? What is the idea of Shabbos? Shabbos is very simple. Is that it's. Uh, 
let's say, Zechel Amai to commemorate creation. But the simple idea of Shabbos is that Shesha Yisrael, in the six days, you should work. And on the seventh day, you should rest. So Shabbos is a resting from work. You work, and then you rest. And that's the structure of the week. The whole structure of the week, which I spoke a few times, is also not a natural phenomenon. There's no inherent reason why the, world, the, the days are seven days in the week. There is, there is a cycle, of this, there's a lunar cycle and the solar cycle. One creates a year, one creates months. But the fact that there is seven days in the week is a Torah construct. It only comes from the Torah. That's why so many ancient people don't have weeks. You don't need, really need weeks technically. Why would you need a week? Or you can have some people had a week of ten days. You have ten, th- ten th- and you have three weeks in a month. But what's the structure of seven? The structure of seven is because that's the structure of seven. Structure, the idea of that there's a week comes from the Torah. And how's the week divided? The week is divided that there's six days of the week, which is, which is is kemais beracious, kibiras shalayim the way the world is created. Right? There's two ways that I think about Shabbos. One is kibiras shalayim if you get mixed up and you know when Shabbos is, so you count according to the way creation starts. So the way it works is that you have six days, chol weekday, and then you move to Shabbos. So what is Shabbos? Bechitzonius. What is the external idea of Shabbos? The external idea of Shabbos is that you should rest from work. Right. So it's a resting, it's it's a shvisas malacha. You're resting from work. You do malacha, then you have to be shavis malacha. And, and that's why a lot of the things that we, we do on Shabbos, certainly the Rambam explains, the idea of a muksa, of muksa, Rambam has three reasons for muksa. One of the reasons is because if a person doesn't work generally throughout the week, let's say you're a person that's like an intellectual, maybe a writer or something, you don't physically do physically labor. So theoretically, you don't really see a difference between this person and on Shabbos and, and the weekday. So they're almost, that's why the muksa comes about. So it shouldn't be like a re- regular other day. So you, Chazal, it depends where, where muksa comes from, but the idea of Chazal it comes, say that, or from Dimin and Vim, the idea is that there's a, a refraining from certain actions. So the, the actions is to allow you not to work. So what's the Yisoyed? What's the really the, 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 the essence of Shabbos on a B'chitzayinistical level? On a, an external level is not to do work. Which work don't you do? The 39 malachas. 39 malachas correspond to malachas that were done in the Mishkan or to create the Mishkan or that's, the, that's also machlaikas. But the, the idea of the 39 malachas, these are the 39 things that we don't do on Shabbos. The 39, each one has 39 in itself, the Yerushalmi says. So we're talking about many, many different malachas. There's Avon But the idea is these are the malachas you don't do. You don't do. So you should refrain from work. So you should rest. So what is the main element of Shabbos on a chitzonistic level, an external level? The main idea of Shabbos is Shmir Shabbos. That's what we actually call it. A person is a Shemir Shabbos. A person is keeping Shabbos. He's doing Shomer. The Shmir Shabbos. A Shmira is the Lysa say. We're not, you're, 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 you're refraining. You're protecting yourself from doing these types of works that you do throughout the, throughout the week. And on Shabbos, you don't do them. So what is the mitzvah of Zachar Yisrael Shabbos? What is the idea to remember Shabbos? Because it's Shomer and the Zachar. What is the idea of the Zachar? The Zachar is there to protect the Shomer. Which means, I remember today is Shabbos, therefore I'm not going to do the Malach of Shabbos. So Zachar Yisrael Shabbos, I remember Shabbos. It's, a, it's passive. Zachar will be passive, which means it's not a Malach, you don't do anything for Zachar. You remember to do, why do you remember? You remember it so you shouldn't do Malach. So therefore you're going to be Shomer Shabbos. You're going to be protecting Shabbos. You're not going to do malacha. That's on a chitzonistic level. Okay, that's an external level. The Rambam, when the Rambam in Peri Chavtes, when the Rambam writes about Kiddush and, and Avdala, the Rambam, the Rambam writes that it's mitzvah sesim in a Torah that a person has to be to be kaddish to be kaddish to Shabbos. A person has to be kaddish to sanctify Shabbos. Because it says in the Pasuk, Zohar HaFem HaShabbos L'Kachay, that a person has to, to remember Shabbos. And clearly this is Zechreo B'yayin, if you remember Zechreo B'yayin, B'Knisasi B'Tziyasi, beginning of Shabbos and end of Shabbos. And, the, the, and how do you, how you Zechreo the Shabbos? You're talking about what we talked about years ago. How do you, right? That's what you remember? That's what I'm saying, right. No, that's what we talked about years ago. Okay. That that B'Knisasi B'Tziyasi, that how do you remember the idea of Shabbos is is you have to say you have to say 
Schir shrach the kiddush. So schir shrach the kiddush means to remember to say praise and to do kiddush. So the Rambam is saying that schir Shabbos, the remembering of Shabbos, is not a passive act. Passive means I'm only doing it to protect the shomer. So Shabbos, shomer means I'm not, I'm not, I'm refraining from doing malacha. So I remember zacher to remember the shomer. I'm remembering, so I should not do the negative thing. I shouldn't do the malacha Shabbos. But the Rambam is saying that there's a mitzvah schir Shabbos. Is a chayav b'yain b'divish shvach v'kiddush. That's what the Rambam also says in Hilchos Pesach, right? That the, the mitzvah of 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 Pesach night is we have to remember Yitzias Mitzrayim. K'moy shenemer zechari shemesh Shabbos akatshe. Just like you remember zechari shemesh akatshe. Everyone asks a question. We spoke about this once. Why does the Rambam add zechari shemesh akatshe in the laws of of, of Pesach? Because the Rambam wants to say that zechira remembering has to be an act. It's a pa- it's a it's a it's 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 an active act, not passive. Just like Shabbos, you have to zechay b'shevach v'kiddush. The same thing also is because you have to remember the nisim and the flies. There's there's a passive, there's a there's an active act of doing something. So Shabbos is superficially. We're going to get to the oymik of this, but superficially, it seems like it's just a day of resting from actions. It's a resting from, but from the fact that we have also the mitzvah of zacher, which is pa- positive, means that there's actually something that we have to do. So there's there's also a proactive action that you have to take. So this is the, there's there's the chitzoynis legal level and the, the pnimius legal level. The same thing also is there is Shabbos the way it was given b'farhesia, which means in a public way, and Shabbos the way it was given b'tzino, which was which was given private. So. Shabbos, the way it was done bechitzonis externally, is just like the Aseris Adibris. Just like all the Aseris Adibris were given in a way that it was with, you know, a lot of fanfare and, and fire and, 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 and uh, thundering and lightning. It was done b'farhasi, it was done publicly. But the Gemara says that all the mitzvahs were given b'farhasi, right? The Gemara Beya says, but Shabbos was given b'tzina, because it's b'ni b'ni b'neichem. Shabbos was given b'tzina, was given quietly. It's a matana. It's a, it's, a, it's a gift of a which means that it's given, the chitzoinis is given one way, and sometimes the chitzoinis, the external, is really just there to really protect the internal. Sometimes a person creates like a, a smoke screen or something. There's something that you create, you, when you, sometimes when you want to protect what's really inside, you externally get, Put, put the focus on the external so people are focused on the external really and that's a protection for something that's internal so the chitzoinus of Shabbos is that it's just the malacha it's, that's the kli that's the idea that we're just going to stop doing physical work but there's, a, there's the tzina is that it's, it's matana there's a gift there's something that's internal on Shabbos which is more panemius is, is that to say that it was given at a separate time that it was or is it was given it, it's, it's, Correct. The Pneumius was given Betzina, which means Chazal are not saying that when it says Aseris Adibus were given, and it, the Torah says that Aseris Adibus were given with, with you know, Kailos of Rakim, it doesn't mean that the, 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 this was not given to the Kailos of Rakim. It was. But there was, also, there was also the internal that was given also as well, which is, you know, when someone's, there's a lot of noise going on, then you can actually really tell someone a secret. Because when, when everyone's quiet, you can't tell someone a secret because everyone's watching. But if there's a lot of noise, and everyone's distracted, and everyone hears a lot of noise, then there's a time that you can actually tell someone a secret. So in the distraction where Shabbos is revealed, Bechitzoinis, and says, okay, this is what you have to do, this is Malach Shabbos, this is what you have to stop, there was something that was Pneumius that was revealed more internal. This, this idea is actually, uh, says in the Rabbein Bechai, the first one I walk in. Rabbein Bechai writes, it's Shmois, That for six days we created the world. Between me and Israel, it's represents something that was given b'tzina, something that was given secret, and given in a place of hiding. In Shabbos itself, there's the davar, there's the nister shem Shabbos, there's the secret of Shabbos. It's like a, 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 a bond a, 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 between a father, a king, and a son, and he tells him, or is his, his loyal servant, he named the stardom. This is something that was not 
is not being, uh, not something that be, could be written down. That's why the Malach Shabbos, the Gemara says, it's Tulim the Tulim the, the, the whole Malach Shabbos, how do we know Malach Shabbos? It doesn't say clearly in the Torah of the Malach Shabbos. Even the Drash, even the way we know that it's 39, is because it's Eila, Hadvarim, Eila, Lamed Hay, and the Eila is 36 with the Hay, with the 5. It's a very strange Drash Chazal to get to the 39. But that's the saying. It's, it's something that it's Nister. It's something that's hidden. It's a secret. That's what the Gemara says, Masech Tez Yomte, which is Be'ah. Now the 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 Rebbeinu Chai asks, "The Eich Nasa Mitzvah Shabbos with Sinah, like before Esen Nasa, Shaheim Mechalas Eres Adim B'Shisham Oisim Kol Umis." Chena Kasa Loi Mirosh B'Seis Adavri, Chena Vamer Yedir Chasham Kol Malacharitz Kishamim Yim Refiha. So what is it? What what does Chazal say? How could the Chazal say that the Torah was that Shabbos was given B'Tzina? Shabbos was given privately, very in secret. When the whole Aseret Sadibus was given very publicly, everything was done publicly. And that's what the Chazal say, and the Pesukim say that it was given very public. El Akavon Chacham Al Inei Hanista Shul Mitzvah Shabbos. Chazal are saying is that the Nister of Shabbos was given B'tzina. Who are Nasa B'tzina? So it means that there was the the Nigla that was revealed on Shabbos. There was Shabbos. It was as part of the Aseret Sadibus. There was what was revealed on Shabbos. That was the the external part of Shabbos that was being revealed. But internally, something else was being told. So you are being told two things. You're being told, you're saying, here, this is what Shabbos is. And then quietly being, being told in secret, this is what really Shabbos is. So the external part of Shabbos is, the chitzoyin is part of the external part of Shabbos is, and you're stuck, you're, you're shayim in Shabbos 100% if you keep Shabbos this way, is if you're shayim in the, you're shayim in the list, say, I don't, I don't, I'm not chorish, so I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm keeping Shabbos. I'm not doing the malach of Shabbos. Absolutely. But you're not getting the nister of Shabbos. There's, there's, there was a secret that was given over in Shabbos. There was a nist that was given over in Shabbos. And that's a more boemic level of Shabbos. And that was given over in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dafik because of that. That's correct. Dafke beni vim Okay. So let's let's understand this. I'll go a little bit more boemic. There is... There's two, there's two ways how to think about shvisa, about resting. <coughs> one is the chitzoynistika way, one is the pnimistika level. One is externally, one is more pnimist. <coughs> What's the chitzoynist? What is the external level of shvisa? What, what does it mean to be a person is resting? When you say the word resting, resting means resting from. If you say, I'm resting now, which means before I was active, and now I'm resting. So resting is the contrast to, to work. They're part of the same, they're part of the same um, paradigm. They're part of the same entity. It's just one is the work part of it, and then the other part is the rest part of it. But resting is part of work. The, there's there's the there's tenua, there's movement, there's hiluch, there's tenua, and then there's the stop, the stopping of movement. So you're walking and you're stopping to walk. Yeah, maybe Mahalach Koimadoim, maybe it's not so. But, but there's, there's walking and there's stopping to walk. They're two separate, th- there's two separate things. I mean, they're, they're, two, they're two separate things, but they're part of the same, this part of the same thing. That's one level. Two sides of oh, the same, they're two sides of the same card. Correct. This is one level of, of rest. But then there's another type of rest. The other type of rest is not a resting from, it's Ba Shabbos Ba Manucha, Ma Elam Chaser. The world was missing something, and what was missing was menucha. Menucha is an entity onto itself. It's not menucha is not rest is not the contrast of work, because ma'olam chaser chaser menucha. So stop working. There's, there's nothing chaser in, in the world. You're saying ma'olam chaser. The world was missing something. And it was chaser menucha. It was missing rest. Okay, so stop working. You'll have rest. But we're not talking about that type of rest because that type of rest. Is not an entity in itself. It's just the opposite of work. The moment you stop working, you're resting. But then there's another type of rest. There's a type of rest that is beyond the world of Tanua. There's the world of Tanua, there's a world of movement, and there's a world that's beyond the world of Tanua. Malacha, Malacha Shabbos comes from the word Hiluch. Hiluch means progress, movement, Tanua. There's the world of Tanua, which is change. And Shabbos, the, the main idea of Shabbos is that you're not allowed to change things. That's really the Isra Malachas of Shabbos. Sh- Shabbos, the, 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 the Hagdara Pnimi of what it means to do a Malach on Shabbos, what does it mean you shouldn't refrain from these actions? It means you're not allowed to change the gather of something, 
the, 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 the quality of something cannot be changed. If you have something that's cold, you cannot make it hot. If hot is, makes it cooking, which means that if it changes, if something is being changed in the in the in this soup that you cooked or whatever you cooked, then that's that's the that's the quality of of Shabbos. That's the Isra Malachim. The Isra Malachim is a change. Makin Pachi is like the final change, but that but any Malacha, all Malacha Shabbos, anything that Shabbos says that you can't do is change. So, for example, I'll give you a very a classic example is that technically. Technically, is um, is a high nosis atzmoy. Which, if a person is not a kafos, a person is not tired, or a person is not a child, theoretically, maybe they're banana, but the matayra. If you're walking down the street and there's a person in the shusayachid in the private domain and there's a person in the public domain, you're allowed to take the person from one domain and take him out of the other domain. Why? Because high nosis atzmoy. Because a man, a living being, uh, uh, carries himself. Now, what does it mean a living being carries himself? No, you don't carry yourself. What do you mean? You, you fly? What does it mean a living being carries himself? Someone picks you up, and let's say, Taki, you're alive, so you weigh a little less than if, God forbid, after 120. But someone picked up weight. Let's say let's say you weigh 100 pounds. And now when you're picking up, it weighs 50 pounds. But someone moved 50 pounds from Rosh Hashanah to a private domain into a public domain. And you're not allowed to move the status of something. If this, this thing belonged in this domain, you're not allowed to move into another one. You're not allowed to change things. So why? What's the svara? What's the logic to say, Chai Nos What's the svara? The svara is chayna sesatze means because a person is not stationary. That's what it means chayna sesatze. When you say you see someone sitting in a shusa yachid and he's not kafas, he's not tied, he's not a child. You see someone sitting in a, in a shul, standing. That's not his position where he is. He happens to be there now. Proof is that in two seconds from now he'll be outside. He can walk. He's no sesatze. He can move to another place. Therefore, if the object, if you see a stone or an object in one place, in Rishus Ayachid, you're not allowed to move that object to Rishus Aram. Why? Because you can't change the status of this object from one domain into another domain. But a chai is noisa satsmoy. It's not a magical thing. It's not chai noisa satsmoy because a person because breathes and somehow he moves around. Chai noisa satsmoy means because he can actually move to another place. He's noisa satsmoy. He can care. <laughs> what? It's <laughs> something else. That's your mekaymoy. There is mekaymoy. Mekayme is your whole place where you normally can walk. What's the average amount that a person can walk? Let's say Yudbe's mill. So we'll say that in the Torah, the highest level of Tchum is, this is the way, but you can't, you can't go to Japan now, right? So if you're going to walk regular, this is the way you can walk. So the Torah says, that is your Mekayme. That's where you belong. Extended Alamis. Extended Alamis, exactly. It's extended Alamis. It's an extension of where you can move. That's together. So Shabbos, you're not allowed to change objects. Or anything. Shabbos, you're not allowed to change. That's the idea. Shab- because change is the world of Tnua. Technically, if you can walk, yes. Technically, yes. This is the example of the whatever, the other reasons why you shouldn't do it better. But if, if let's say you're walking this, I'll give you an example. Let's say you're, you're walking with your five year old child and it's, a, and, it's a, and, it's a, and it's a rain and it's snowing and your child decides that he wants to sit right down on the floor. So you pick up your child. If you want to be a, a hider on top of a hider, you walk less than four amas and stop. That you should also not do, you know, tell Amar to do that. But in the case of Chaino says, Atzma, you walk four amas, walk four amas, walk one, then you go home. And the kid doesn't have to, 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 to freeze to death uh, or get sick in the snow. You should just know this. This is a, this is a, the Maishas B'chol Yoy. People don't know this. It's taken not, it's not Lechat Chila you shouldn't do it, but, but the, the principle is if you take these two kulas together, you can do it. This is the idea because you, you're not changing the status. A child technically can get up and run and go to the other place. That's 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 melacha. Melacha means come the words hiluch. Hiluch means something that's moving and changing. This is the world of tenua. This is the world of movement. Choil is connected. The weekday is connected to melacha. To melacha. This is what weekday means. That's what Adam la'amal yivol. A person's created to create. It could be. Amol Malacha, it can be Amol Sicha, it can be Amol Torah, whatever it is, your Amol, Adam Avi Amol, a person is created to create means to move things forward. If it's intellectually or through speaking or doing something, but that's the way the world of Tanua, the world of movement, is the world of Chayel. Shabbos is not the flip side of that coin. That's the Chitzonis of Shabbos. The Chitzonis of Shabbos is the external part of Shabbos is, I'm not going to do these Malachas. Normally I do Malacha, I'm creative. And now I'm, not, I'm going to stop doing Malacha. Shabbos is beyond Tanua. It's a world beyond Tanua. Or the way Chazal say it, is a Shabbos is Me'en Olam Haba. That there's Hayyom La'asoysom, 
today is the day of, to work, and it's lomachar l'kabel scharim. And then there's lamachar for the future of the Kabbalah Schar. What's the difference between to receive the reward? What's the difference between Hayoyim and Lamachar? Hayoyim today is the world of Hiluch. And Lamachar, Schar, is the, is the destination. The reward is the destination. That's why you say Shabbos is Tachlis Shemayim Ma'aretz. Tachlis Shemayim Ma'aretz means it's the Tachlis. The Tachlis means the end. The end is the Schar. The Schar is the reward. This is why it's called a Matana. This is why it's called a gift. Why is it called? A, why is Shabbos called a gift? Because because Shabbos really doesn't belong part of the world. Because Shabbos is not in the world of Tnua. There's the world of Tnua, the world of movement. And then you can say, let's say I give you, let's say an example. Let's say you say a person is he does he does good work, and then you're going to say, okay, after you do the work, I'm going to pay you. So the paying is the schar. Now Hayyim <laughs> Lasoisim is now this world. We do the work, the Tnua. To get to the place of the Eat Tnua, to get to the place beyond Tnua, which is Olam Haba. Shabbos is main Olam Haba. Shabbos is a, is, is a glimmer of the world to come, which means that Shabbos is the Schar already. It's Olam Aschar. In Olam Aschar, in the world of reward, there's no movement. Because movement, Hiluch, is we're moving the world further. That's what Malach is. You're moving the world further to get to the place that will be Makabal the Schar. Hayyama says, Olam Haba Scharim. Shabbos is the Schar itself. It's main Olam Haba. How could we have schar? How could we have the reward before we finish the work? That's why it's a matana. I could say, I know you didn't do the work, but I want to give you a gift. I want to give you a gift. What does it mean? I want to give you something that you don't deserve yet. You'll deserve when it's done. Lamachar is Yom Shikul Shabbos will be the, the ultimate idea of Shabbos. That's because that's Lamachar Lekav Scharim. Today, Shabbos is not, is, is, a, is a bechina of the matana, of the gift, because Shabbos is not the opposite of Tenua. Not that there's a world of tenuah of movement and there's a world of stopping from movement. Shabbos is a place that's beyond tenuah. Shabbos is a place that's higher from the world of tenuah. It's it's olam haba. It's from a different dimension. There's the dimension of olam haza, and there's the dimension of olam haba. Olam haba is, is is the world. This world is hiluch, and then there's a world of olam haba, which is beyond hiluch, beyond tenuah. That's that's the nakuda of Shabbos. Is it beyond or is it a result? Is it a peak of a mountain? Well, we're going to talk about this, but it, it no, really, it's beyond. It's really beyond. It's really it's really beyond. Okay. Sometimes it's not connected. You have to you, you get to the mountain and then you get on the mountain. But when you're climbing a mountain, let's give it a, if you want to use that marshal. You're climbing a mountain, which means it's it's sloping, right? Which means you're climbing, climbing. Every moment you're getting higher and higher, which is true. You get to the mountain, it plateaus. So when you get to the place of the plateau, it's not it's not only that this is the plateau of the peak, but it's actually something, it's a different dimension, because here you're not moving anymore. There's no there's no reason to do any movement. You're moving, you're moving, you're moving to get to the place that's beyond movement. It's also a combination. It's also a combination. It is also a combination, correct. But it, it represents a place that is beyond. There's, the, there's, there's, there's a structure of Olam Haza and there's a structure of Olam Haba. The structure of Shabbos is Me'en Olam Haba. That's the, that's the panemius. The inner aspect of Shabbos is not just I'm resting from work. I am in a place of rest. I am in a place of ready the reward. I am in a place that I'm ready to have dveikus and, and komalach t'chasuya. Komalach t'chasuya says that tzaddikim say, the the, the Chiddush Arim writes that Kol Malach Tzasui all your work has been done right Rashi brings down Meshem Mechilta name Mechilta that a person on Shabbos should imagine that this all your work has been done so the Chiddush Arim says not only physical work but also spiritual work which means Sadiq on Shabbos you have the Tzadik <laughs> on Sadiq you reach the peak that's it you're you're ready you have Dveikus you have Muni you have talking you have everything you have to reach in this world you haven't reached that's the Madrig of Shabbos so Shabbos because Shabbos is the place of the absence of Tnuah. Shabbos be'etzem, so the Shabbos is really on a on a um, on a higher level. Shabbos is that the world stops, that that the that the mitzvahs of the world stops. That there's there's a sh- there's, it's so the, okay. Let's say a little bit more lumdish. Say a little lumdish. when a person when there's an isra on Shabbos, you're not allowed to do malacha Shabbos. You're not allowed to do a these are works on Shabbos. Is it an Isra on the Gavra that the person is not allowed to do this work? Or is that the Chefz is also? This object shouldn't be changed on Shabbos because Shabbos, the object has a quality in relationship to you, obviously. A Shabbos and this, quality, this, 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 this object in itself has a quality of rest. Not just you, the, you, you shouldn't do the rest. This is rather, if you look at the, the next Mar Malkin, it's just interesting, if it is from the Asin Der from Yosef Engel. And he says, really, this argument—if it's a malacha, if it's an—if Shabbos is a gavra or the chefzer, it's on the person, 
or it's actually the Chetzer Malacha is Aser, is prohibited. The actual action itself, he says, uh, it's an argument between the Bavli and the Zhali. In this next Maramokim, on the top. That, um, that if you, the, the Yerushalmi says that if you steal matzah, you're not yaitzah de chavaseh. If you kareya b'shabas, if you kareya b'shabas, you yaitzah. If you kareya, tamad matzah gzula hugufa ver. Okay. If you, if, if a person rips kriya, on Shabbos is Yetzir Dei Kriya, and the Yerushalmi says because Iu the Ka'avar, because the Gavar is Ka'avar. It doesn't have to do with the Chavzah. It's not the Chavzah. The person is not allowed to do... Sh- so you did something, the things still exist. But according to the Bavli, he says, Lafiani is died to the don't Chayla Ka'al He says, according to the Bavli, it's different. That, Ne'er Shedliko Akum B'Shabbos, also Lavar Chavzah Shabbos, M'Pnei Shaloi Shabbos Malach Saverim. That the, you're not allowed to make a brach on it because it was not shavus, even you, even though you didn't do it, the the, the action was not shavus. There was no rest in the object itself. It's also an interesting thing the way the Gemara, the Mishnah says that Aboyim, that Avos Malachas Aboyim Chasa Achas, Hazareya Vachoyish. That's the language of the Mishnah, right? Which means Hazareya Vachoyish means the Gavra. Because these are the Malachas of Shabbos. You shouldn't do it if you're if you're Chayish Hazareya. If you plant it, you see it, etc. But when the Rambam writes the Malachas Shabbos, he says that our boy Malachas Chaser Achas, and it's Achrisha Vahazria, which is very different. Yeah, not the verb. Correct. Which means we're talking about the object in itself, the Chefza itself, the object in itself is, is, is prohibited. Which means if you say it's the Gavra, just not to, to think it out for two seconds, if you say it's the Gavra, means that you have to be in a place of beyond Tenua. But your ob- the objects that are involved in your life, whatever, they're just doing what they're, they're doing. But if you say that there's a sh- the shvisa has to be on the object itself, it means that you are actually, there's no you that's separate, there's no object and subject in your life. Everything, that, everything that's in your life, obviously something that's outside your domain, someone's planting, uh, someone's farming in, in, in Indonesia, it's okay for them. But in, if you're planting, or, or, the, or your fields are being planted, which belongs to you, there's a prohibition. There's something in your world that has that rest has to be complete. Not just the person has to rest, but everything in himself, in his orbit, has to rest. The shvisa is behemte. Exactly that idea. Shvisa scale of whatever, or the is shvisa scale. But that idea. There's something. That's, there's a shvisa has to be in every single chefza. So it's it's a different way of, of saying this. But the nekuda is the point of all this is that. Um, Really, it's really not It's just to be clear. It the, the shvisa, the e, the itnua, the lack of movement, is only in the. It's a very simple thing. On Shabbos, there was no mon. Okay, but on Shabbos it rains. What's the difference? Why does it rain during uh, on Shabbos, and it doesn't rain during the month? By the way, it's, there's a medrash that one of the one of the one of the minim asked Rabbi the Shaila. Why why is it rain on Shabbos? But put that put that aside a second. What's the difference between the mon and, and the mon and, and geshem? The very simple difference is this: is this geshem is part of the fabric of the material world. That's the chitzonis olam. That's the external world. In the chitzonis olam, you have to rest from sha- you have to rest from malacha. Not the world has to rest from malacha. You have to rest from malacha. <coughs> In the pnimius, we're saying that there's a really a shvisa of of that's. It represents the oil maschar. Represents something from beyond tenua, a level that's beyond tenua. If it represents a world beyond tenua, beyond movement, then the inner world has to be beyond tenua because the inner world is Shabbos. So mon doesn't fall on Shabbos, but rain falls on Shabbos because mon is mon is connected to the pnimis oilamas, to the nister, to the hidden, to the yid, to the same idea. So therefore, in the in the nister, he has to he has to he has to he goes from beyond to it. Therefore, no, there's no movement. There's no there's no there's no mon. But rain is from the chitzonis oilam, and just like Gosh Shavas is chayiv nisa. This is this the, the external part of the world still functions, right? Again, let's go back to the, to the, to the idea. In the level of chitzonis, on the external level, Shabbos is just resting from work, which means I have to rest from work. If I don't have the chiv of Shabbos, if I don't have the obligation to keep Shabbos, okay, the world doesn't have to rest. In my world, doesn't have to rest. The Pneumius the we're saying is that Shabbos is a gilu, a revelation 
not that I am resting from work, is a revelation that's beyond work. If it's a relation beyond work, everything that's connected to that inner world is resting beyond work. There's a gila of Olam Haba, there's a gila of Lamacha Lakabu Schar in the world of Pneumius, in the internal world. So therefore, anything that's connected to the Pneumius stops to, stops to function. This is what the Oymic idea of Shabbos is. So if a person really would keep Shabbos, at least up until the way we understand now, if a person would really keep Shabbos, he will keep Shabbos the way Reb Hirsch of Rimenov says a person should keep Shabbos. Pasach <laughs> Rav It says like this: Really, a person should be in a place that they can't move. means literally a person can't move. You can't move. A person couldn't even speak one word. Chazal said, the Gemara says in Yishambi, that Rashbi said, Bekushi itiru l'dabra dev k'tayr b'shabbos. Bekoishi. The Gemara says that Rab Shimon saw his mother speaking on Shabbos and said, Shabbos ayayim. That even to speak, if you're really keeping Shabbos, if Shabbos is the eat tnu, if Shabbos is the level beyond tnu, beyond movement, you should be like this. That should be Shabbos, right? In other words, if, this is Damas. If Shabbos is beyond tnu, well, how could you speak? How could you move? How could you shake? If you really keep, if if Shabbos is resting from work, okay, so I'm resting from work and I'm relaxing, so I'm still functioning. But if Shabbos represents the the world that's beyond beyond all movement, says the says the Rimbam, then that you can't you, you can't you can't you can't do anything. Rakadeshu kasa piyah pas mechachol lizay yochel lift the piyah davu yudib echel the pachas piyah pas mechachol that the Rebbe should give you the power to at least speak one word. But he's saying if the oymik of Shabbos, if you realize the kedusha Shabbos, if you really we're living in the place of the of the of the schar elam abba. You'll be frozen. I get, we're, gonna, we're gonna get we're gonna get all to the, we're gonna get to this. We're gonna we didn't discuss it obviously because this is very the whole itnua. I just want to say this before we get to this. The whole itnua is lachura stira, the pashta. It seems to be a contradiction to everything that we want Shabbos. Because you're talking about Shabbos, Shabbos, Shabbos is the, is the itnua. So Shabbos usually fast. Not move and start lie still for for, for 40, 24 hours every single day. You should be in a state of total stillness, and then drop, wake up, and drop, and wake up. And that's it. That should be the the the, the, the moment of absolute stillness. Because if you're going to a place of stillness, a place that's beyond movement, beyond tenua, so then you should be in a posture of beyond tenua. So what, what, what are you eating, child? It's, 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 it's actually it's it's a total country. It seems like a total opposite, almost like that. So it's not. Exactly. It's the Nachma. So then, so so what's shot? What does it mean? So, huh? Okay, so we have to understand. We're not trying to understand the Nikud. Let's go first to the Trua of, of, of the Itnua. The Itnua means that's the Nikud. Nikud is you get the place of iron, of dvekas, of nothingness, of emptiness, and you're completely without Tanu, without moving. I'm stuck. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I arrived. If you, if you reach the peak of the mountain, there's nowhere to go. Nowhere to talk, nothing to say, nothing intelligent to say, nothing smart to think about. That's it. You're there. You got it. You're, you're dvekas. So, so what? So this is Shabbos. So Shabbos is again. Shabbos is the the, the, the total absence of Tanua. <coughs> and the, the the total absence of all movement. Let's go to this Mahalach. Yomte by contrast. Yomte by contrast is my, is is literally the opposite. Yomte if if Shabbos is al yitz ishul mukayim, a person shouldn't leave his place. But Yomte is al yitz regal. But you have to move. You have to, you have to go. You have to walk. Also, we'll look at the, the, there's also how, how Shabbos and Yom Tov is, is the basic difference. One of the basic differences that um, that Kavan and Oineg, the Ramah holds that Kavan and Oineg also applies to Yom Tov. But Simcha, Simcha is already a, another Shabbos. This is Shabbos. Sorry, it's Shabbos. It's, it's, it's Simcha and Shabbos. Because Yom Tov has been Shabbos. There's a Sifra that says that. But in general, Simcha is not, joy is not part of Shabbos. You can have Simcha of Shabbos, but that concept of joy, of Simcha itself, is not so much connected to Shabbos. We'll understand why. Also, interesting, Hachnas Sarchim. I know everyone's very busy with Hachnas Sarchim, and it's a beautiful thing. I'm not saying you shouldn't have Archim on Shabbos. Yeah. You're not busy with Hachnas Sarchim? It's a Yom Tov thing. Hachnas Sarchim is a Yom Tov thing. Let's look at the Ramam. Let's look at the Ramam. The Ramam says like this, Nechashvis is Yom Tov. The Ramam says, that 
that even though then the halach is tied. Even though it says the joy is carbon shlam, even though that really means the joy is carbon shlam, even though that really means the joy is carbon shlam, means to be joyful is ein simchal v'basa means literally meat, which refers to the carbon shlam, the offering. Yes, bechlal oisa simcha. This is a chiddush from the Ram, by the way. This is a no, this is a novel interpretation. The Ram says that part of this mitzvah of simcha, the mitzvah of samachta v'chagecha, ain't simcha alu b'basar, is dafke chakar mishlamim, like the Gemara says. The Ram says bechlal, including with that level of simcha, that joy is zameich hu v'bana v'nei beis of cholach k'roiloi. Then he says everyone should enjoy. He should everyone should have joy the much how much they need it. The children you give them, the, you give them candies or chocolates or nuts. The women, if if that's what they want, they they have to buy the clothes. And the men, if the, unfortunately, this, that's what they want. They should eat meat and drink wine. It sounds very f- funny, but this is what it is. And then he says, When a person eats, you should invite guests. The girl, the yosin, the almana, I will mission all the asa chaser of oichel v'shoyze who bana v'ishtoi ve'ina machel mashkel aniim. So on that on yom tov closes his doors and just eats for himself and doesn't invite guests and doesn't invite the poor. Ain zeh simcha mitzvah el simchas kreisa. This is not considered a simchas mitzvah. This is not simchas yom tov. This is the this is the enjoyment of your stomach. V'aleinu zochem v'lechem oini v'lechem kolachem v'zitamik v'lechem l'mnavshem v'chikum zeh kloinu shemer v'zeresi perish al kachem. Perchagechem, they the like dung will be thrown on your cha, on your chag on your yamtev, which means that it's, that it's very harsh language. This is the Gemara that if you don't have if you don't have orchem and yamtev, it's like the worst possible thing. It's like it's it's mamish selfish. This hagdara, this concept, you don't find Shabbos. I'm not saying you shouldn't invite guests of Shabbos, but we're perchagechem that says that these these harsh words that says on yamtev does not say on Shabbos. Why? Because this is the difference between Shabbos and Yom Tov. Shabbos, Yom Tov is about a certain type of simcha, which is an openness, expansiveness, moving out of your place. And part of moving out of your place is achnosis of orchim. Achnosis of orchim means, if you, re- if you translate this literally, achnosis of orchim means, is the opening of your home to other people's paths. That's what it means. Because an oirach means a path. And what it means when a person is a machnes oyach means a person says, my tent is open and I allow you to come who you are with your own mishigas, I allow you to come into my space. You're machnes the different orchim to the other people's places. There's a movement outward and a movement inward. And this is what Yom Tov is. Yom Tov is this, this, this fluid, fluid movement of, of growth. Shabbos, Safa Shabbos. Now, you could have taken a of Shabbos and say, you shouldn't, God forbid. But it's a different Hagdara. Shabbos really is to get into a place where you're eating. There's no movement. There's no outer. There's no thing as an outer. There's no outside. Now, how does that mean? You're sitting with your family. There's no outside. Now, if you have a very close friend that comes to your house and he's oh, yeah. okay, that's also. I'm not saying you shouldn't have a chlazar. I'm just saying, but the concept of Shabbos really is to create an inner space, an inner stillness, an inner place, which is Yom Tov is, a, is, is the opposite, which is an expansive space where you're opening up. Here's the Lashon HaZoyer. Lashon HaZoyer, the next page, Parshat Yisrael. Says the Zoyer, V'i havachadi b'lchudoi. If a person is on Shabbos, is alone, and is celebrating Shabbos alone, and he doesn't have any other person with him. I'm sorry, I'm Yom Tov. But it's on Shabbos. If a person is alone on Shabbos, even if you don't give it to your to guest, to any oirach, any any path, passageways, you don't have onshim. Shabbos is not. Yom Tov, yeah, Shabbos is not. A different Hagdara. Therefore it says, Therefore it says between me and you, Hashem says. Everyone on Shabbos receives a higher Neshama. Neshama Yilah. Neshama the Chol Shlima Ba. A Neshama that has all Shlemus, all completion. Because a part of the world to come. What is the Neshama Yisera on Shabbos? What's the Neshama Yisera? 
Yom Tif Nis is Shomer Yisrael Lav Davka. That's a Galim Machleikim from Tosis and the Rashba and the Rashbam in Psachim. That's why if you say Avdolah Yom Tif whatever etc. But the Pashtas in the Gemara is only Shabbos in Shomer Yisrael. But the Zayis clearly holds that only Shabbos is in Shomer Yisrael. What is in the Shomer Yisrael? What is this extra measure of the Shomer Yisrael? This is a Chelak of Elam Habel. It's a part of the world, the world to come. What, it means, what does it mean that it's a part of the world to come? There's a part of us that we function in this world, which is the world of Tanua. In Elam Haza. I am Las Today we're working, we're doing things. And then on Shabbos, we're gifted. On Matana, we're given something made in Elam Haba. From the Alam Dasi, from the world to come. Which means a place that's beyond Tanua, beyond movement. A place of stillness, a dveikas, and a munah, and a place of a place of perfection. begin Therefore, Shabbos is called the name of Hashem. You know, Allah even says the the they also say you know, say the you know, say the word Shabbos in the mikvah because it's one of the names of Eibusha. Shema the Yish Shalom Chol B'Kol Tzitra. This is Shabbos means the Shema, the name that is complete. That's Shabbos. Shabbos is a place of perfection. Okay. How do you get to that place? How do you get to the place? So let's let's do like this. You're saying that the a way to get to the place of Elam Haba, the way to get to the place of of, of perfection, Shleim the Kula, the place of perfection, Shmada Kadosh Baruch to get to that place of perfection is through the total seizing of all work. Stillness, total stopping. Let's think like this. Kadosh Baruch created the world, the way the world is created, like the rewrites of Priyatz Chaim, the way the world is created is that there is an orient of an infinite light. And this infinite light had a symptom, a contraction of the infinite light. And through the contraction of the infinite light, there was a revealing of the symptom. I'm sorry, there was a reveal, the, the, the contraction is the symptom. And through the, the through the symptom was created Oyagvul, the koyach of gvul, of finitude, of of gul, of boundaries. The world of boundaries is created. So symptom Contraction by the Ein Soif creates Gvul. Right? This Ein Soif in its natural state, let's say, if there is a natural state. So the Ein Soif is, the infinity in its natural state is infinity, expanding, expanding infinitely. In order to reveal the power of the finitude, the Gvul, the infinity contracted itself. So the natural state is an infinity, and the Tzimtzum allows for the revealing of Gvul. Now the person is created in the inverse, the opposite. In order for us to get to Beligvul, to get to infinity, to get to Elam Haba, we have to stop doing. Our, tzim, our hispashtus is Gvul. Our expansiveness is Gvul. And in order to get to Beligvul, we have to do Tzimtzum. It, you understand the two inverse images. The the the, inf, the koyach of beligvul, the infinite, in order to create finitude, is gvul. It is simsum. That simsum creates gvul. And us, in order to get to the place of beligvul, we have to stop doing. That simsum allows for the appearance of beligvul. So the moment there's human effort, there's no that's gvul. There's a, that's the definition. There's gvul. In other words, the, you, the, you, the human being, by definition, is the world of Gvul. Gvul is the world of Tanua, of movement. Movement is, a, is the world of Hiloch, of, of, of progress. Progress means things are not yet reached its fruition, didn't reach its, its, its destination. So when a person is doing Gvul in this world, because that's what they're doing, Adam Adam Yivali, he's doing Gvul, that he's, he's, he's in the place of Ishlemos, of, of lack of perfection, in a place of Tanua, a place of movement, of strife. The moment he stops doing, and the more he stops doing, the more... So the, the symptom actually allows the person to get to become bleakful. Huh? The Helamatsvi, exactly, in the, in the language of the Rasha. The Helamatsvi allows for the Koyacha Bleakful. The Koyacha Bleakful of the person is revealed, Dafka the Koyacha Simpson. If you look in the, if you look in the next, not, skip the next two, uh, two it's one Maramakim from the Marami Pana, but listen to the next Maramakim. It's an Alter Rebbe, look at the Torah. Al Tarbah writes, it's uh, underlined, it's like the third paragraph. That six days Hashem creates. Hainu Yeridas Hachachim Amidas Aikamitim Tsumim Li Slabesh Basar Mamaras. 
the reason why the creation talks about that the, the world was created in a way that there was symptom contractions to reveal in the world of symptom or in the world of vul. The whole maaseberishes in the first whole parak in the Torah beyond the sayes of to the that pasuk. Everything is says only name of Hashem, only name of Lakim. Why? Because that's the name of contraction. In order for the revealing of the world, there had to be contraction of of, the, of Hakadosh Baruch Hu's infinity, of the Ainsof's infinity, infinity. Or b'Shabbos Ksiv, what is saying Shabbos? Vayichal Lakim. What does it mean Vayichal Lakim? Shainu shekalu poskan simsum. Vayichal Lakim. There's a kiloyin of 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 of, of the simsum. Vayichal is kiloyin. It expires. The Lakim expires. What happens on Shabbos is that the Shem Lakim expires. Not that Hashem stopped working, but Shabbos, the, the, the days of the week, represents the name of the Lakim, of, of Tzimtzum. What happens on Shabbos is that there's a seizing of the Tzimtzum. The, the Tzimtzum is contracting the infinity. Is allowing for the possibility of of koyach alikim. Vayichal alikim. There's no longer alikim because alikim becomes kloyin, and what comes to reveal is yom is is yom in the nishmasa. That's why Shabbos is called yom. It's called Shabbos l'Hashem. It's a, it's a yom l'Hashem. Why is it yom l'Hashem? Because Shabbos is when the alikim stops functioning. The symptom of, of the alikim stops functioning. So what what becomes revealed reveals the shem Hashem. What's the shem Hashem? Ain't soif. But how does a person connect to this? By dafka through symptom. In other words, the the, the koyach on Shabbos there's no symptom mitzad. On, on, from the perspective of the above, Shabbos is the opposite of symptoms. No symptoms. Very halalikim. Symptom stops in the primis oilimus. Right. So that's why there's no oil magvul in the primis oilimus. That's why there's no man in the primis oilimus. That the internal world stops functioning. The internal world of symptoms stops functioning. And what is revealed in the internal world? The oilim haba. If it's oilim haba, then it's Hashem. Hashem. It's a day of Hashem. You don't wear tefillin on Shabbos. The symptom. Why? Meaning because that you're trying to achieve that or whatever is close to that during the week. You, you, you are that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a guy that one of the modern book the back. This is a true of Avni Nazar. It's the last modern book. And uh, it's an interesting true There's a lot of uh, a lot of people had an issue with the, even as the Chalkas Yaakov, Chalkas Yoyev, his Talmud had an issue with this. And the Mukhacher has a whole issue. And there's Nuchas Lozan. But here, the, the Avnei is a mechadish a chiddush. Avnei says a chiddush, and it works out with with Shabbos how it works. The Avnei says he used to lechadish aloymer that after in a ger at yom v'yitvul, even if a person is not a full ger, person doesn't consider is not considered a full convert until they go through the process of circumcision and in immerse in a mikvah. Mikomokayim the mitzvah Shabbos. Still, he says that Shabbos they are going to be in Stava. That means it becomes there'll be a chiv of, of keeping Shabbos once you have. If a person, if a ger is going through a process of conversion, and he has a mila, even if he has a tefillah, he has circumcision, he still has to keep Shabbos. And he says that's what actually happened to Kali Yisrael. That in Stava b'mara, they were in Stava b'mara in Stava. Zehu kaid no tefillah. Shalya b'shas matan toyer. Matan toyer is when they went through tefillah, right? There was a, there was an achal yoyed, and that's when they went through tefillah. So if they went to Tfila, so they went and the mikveh and 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 and, and bris, they went right away because they couldn't call our loyechol, but they had to go through to, to for Karm Pesach with the Ma'achayi. They had the bris right away. That means kisham chasam chak from the so That's when they became their makabel toyim So the reason why they call mamar, and he says la it's like this: that a ger that's in the process of going through conversion that has a bris should has to already keep Shabbos. It's a chiddush, but that's what he says. What's the oymik of this? On the Gaelic, you know, what's the make of this? What's the premise of this, of this argument? Now, the Avnezer doesn't talk like this. He talks more in the, in the Allahic realm, but this is a premise of this, which is if someone goes through a bris, what's a bris? Simpson. That's uh, Pasha. That's, that, that's what a bris is. A bris is a, 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 a contraction, a symptom of these Pashtas. That's the whole Kavanah Sabris, according to the Ramam, according to the others. Or even according to Ari, it's, it, you're, you're, you're drawing out uh, the the, the gvuras and the chazan, but the idea is is, is creating a a, con, a, con, a contraction, which c- creates healthy contractions in a person's future growth of his, as a male being. So says Avnei when a person goes through already a tzimtzum and he at that in, in the process of becoming yid, then he's connected to Shabbos, because Shabbos <laughs> is the your mitzamtzum yourself, you contract yourself of the koyach gvul of your power gvul. To reach a koyach of pligvul. Okay. 
Now the Shaila becomes, but Lepoil, in actuality, like first of all, like we said before, that the Zachar Siyam Shal is that it's a, po- a, a proactive thing, it's not just passive. At Shabbos, you have to do things. Everyone knows, if you go back to Maram Apanu, it's Machadish also another Chiddush. This is also a famous Chiddush, but from Maram Apanu, from the greats of the Italian Kabbalah, which was supposed to be in Italy this week, but uh, they wish I had other plans. So the Maram Apanu writes like this Yesh Mitzachay Shakulis is Shakul Kola Terakula. Keep going, Yimlach Sadam is Yis, Rav. Then he says, Chen Shmir Shabbos, Shmir Shabbos, Kol Hashem Shabbos. Everyone knows that Yishem Shabbos. You become a mummer. Mummer the Shabbos is mummer. The Kol Kol Terikula, right? We doubt everyone knows if you're not if Machal Shabbos. But that's that's Loisa says. If you're if you over the Loisa says the prohibitions, but Vikiyum Shalish Sudas Hashem Shemayim. He says that the 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 the, the principle of what it co- what it means to be a Shem Shabbos, a correct Shem Shabbos is also if you eat the three meals on Shabbos. Kiyim Shalosh uh, Shulis Hashem Shemayim is 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 the has the din of a some say that's the Maram Pano saying is like a din of a mummer if you don't eat Shalosh Shulis Shabbos, but something certainly that's very strong about this. So they have ways. The Maram Pano didn't go with a beard, so it's always it's all easy. <laughs> some soyers said he didn't wear a beard. Okay, it's actually yeah, but uh, maybe he had a trim beard. The Ike is like this. What is it really saying? What is it really saying? That there's a there's a kiyum. Shabbos also is a kiyum. Oh, we're talking about Shabbos, like the, like in the highest level of Shabbos, that it's the absence of all movement. But the, in actuality, that's the way. Not that's not the way. Shabbos, we don't sit in a place of total stillness and silence, and, and that's not the way we practice Shabbos. And there's a chiyum to eat to the Shabbos, and a kiyum of a mitzvah sase, and a kiyum. There's some very strong words over here. There's a mitzvah sase according to the the Beis Hillel to Divrei Hillel, Shabbos Shabbos Hillel. The altar brings the Shulchan Aruch about uh, even you have to eat fish on Shabbos. Maybe. What is this? What is this? Uh, what is Shabbos? So like this. Because I'll say that Tzadikim Eilam Menucha Loi Beilam Haza Veloi Beilam Haba. Shnei Meyachol Chayim Ochol. That Tzadikim don't have Menucha, don't have rest. Not by Elam Hazel, not by Elam Haba. This is, a, this is actually a contradiction to everything we said. Because he said that Menucha means Elam Haba is beyond Tenua. That's, that's Char. That's the destination. It's the top of the mountain. Tenua is Elam Ahiluch. Tzadik me'elam Menucha lo'i b'elam Hazel is a contradiction. What does it mean that a Tzadik doesn't have Menucha, doesn't have rest? Not in this world, not in the next world. Say not in this world, I understand. Lo'i b'elam Haba? What's the, what, what, how can you say Yelchu Mechai Lechol, Yerel Lekim Etzien, that the Yelchu Mechai Lechol is movement in Elam Haba? The whole Elam Haba is absent of movement. It's it's Etenua. That's the, that's the Nekud of Etenua. Isn't the point of the Ayin, Shabbos, Shabbos, to get to the point where it's Etenua? There's no more Komalach for you. There's no more work to be done. You're on top of the mountain. There's nowhere to go. You're at Vekas. So what are you doing? It's not rest for you. What? You're not resting for yourself. Meaning if you get to the level you're describing, you're not experiencing Okay, that's, that's, that's already a... That you, have to, you have to read it something... I, I, that, that, but you, that's a Tzadik in this world. That's, but you're saying a Tzadik in Elam Haba... You're saying because he's still connected to the Maz. That's that's not what it means. So I'm talking about in the tzaddik itself. The gather of a tzaddik is no menucha. And what does that mean? Is no menucha. There's a pasuk that says that he put it in the Gan Eden, which is which is anacha, which is menucha, rest. La of the l'shamer to do work. La of the l'shamer. What do you mean Gan Eden? If you put him to do rest, what is la of the l'shamer? What does it mean to do work? You can't do work from a place. What does it actually mean? And who's been taking care of it? The last that that's another. <laughs> that's a. I should have had a plan. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So love the Shama. And what's his answer? David should take care of it. No, we do. Oh. It's not a Oh, we're not conscious of it. So love the Shama. Vechem, again, which means we're a place of Manucha. Love the Shama means we're a place of Mitzazesa, Mitzlaisa, say love the Shama. To do work. What's the Pshat? So the Pshat is. There was one more modern Markham that I want to, that we forgot, but uh, we'll have to go through it like this. Al Tarabah writes in Torah and Pashas Noach. But the Zohar says that it says it says Eil told us Noach 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 is two Noachs, right? Six times in Gavayot, but there's two Noachs one after the next. And the Zohar says Neichel Yon Neich Tachtonim. It's two levels of, of of rest. And the Zohar says it's Shabbos Yilov Shabbos Hatov. 
there's a whole Arichas in this in the Zohar, that there's a lower Shabbos and a higher Shabbos. The lower Shabbos is one Shabbos. There's a sh- the Shabbos that we talked about, the earliest Shabbos, the Shabbos of rest. Okay, I'm resting. I'm resting from work. There's a higher Madrega of Shabbos, which is, a re- which is beyond rest, right? Be- I mean, beyond work, a place of the Oilam Aschar, the world of reward, which is beyond, beyond the, the place of work, beyond the place of movement. And then, in the Maimur, the Alter Rebbe talks over there about that Maim Rab Leichol Chabas Sa'ava, that there's raging waters, and then the Kud of Shabbos, it says also a lot of Chesnish Svarim, that the, the, the Nekuda, this is also the game for Shabbos for every single day of the week, Oye Yemi Shabbos, Rishma Shabbos, Shemra Shabbos, every day is a Shabbos, that the Nekuda of Shabbos within the day is davening, is tefillah. Tefillah is the, is the place of Shabbos within your time, within the day. Every single day has a moment of davening, and in that moment of davening is Shabbos. And he says that what is the, what is the Nekuda of Shabbos in Tefillah, is that a person lets go of their tirdas of Parnassah, the worry about Parnassah. So what, what, what he's saying is like this. He doesn't say a person lets go of Parnassah. There's two things, there's this tirdas of Parnassah. It's a very different statement. You say that Shabbos means during the week, let's say we talk about Shabbos in the week, Shabbos means weeks, that in the middle of Davening, in the middle of Shmonasa, I don't think about work. I'm in another place. I'm not at work doing things. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, in, I'm in another space. I'm in a place of dvekas, of connection. And, and, and I'm there. I'm present. I'm not thinking about, like, you know, I have to do this and do that. I'm not thinking about that. That's one thing. But Talmud doesn't say that. It says that a person in tefillah reaches a level where they don't have tidas upon us, anxiety of work. Pshat is like this. There's a famous machlekes or rishonim argument amongst the rishonim. If Olam Haba, the Rambam holds that Olam Haba, ultimately, Lachat Chiyas HaMesim, the be Olam Haba, that's Olam Haba, that's After Chiyas HaMesim, they live in Olam Haba, just pure spirit, pure, unconnected to the body. The Ramban, the Ramban is called very strongly, and the Ramban says that Chiyas HaMesim and Olam Haba are part of the same process, and the Schar of the Asid, the Schar of the Asid, the reward of the Asid, is Dafka in the Guf, Dafka in the body. And the Ramban says a few reasons. There's, there's a few places in the Ramban writes, Alatay Rosh Hashanah Shahar Gmul, that the Ram, Ramban says because it's the goof that got you to the place, that got you to the Lamabu, so it also deserves, and Akadosh Baram, the Kabeh Shahar Kolberia, everything needs its reward. And then he says also because the goof represents something, Vidov is a soid, can you do it? The Ramban, Ramban doesn't really explain. But the Shitta Saramban, which becomes later the Shitta of most Sifri Soid, is that Chiyas HaMesim, that Olam Haba will be lived in the body. In the, in, the, in the body. Which means like this. The highest madrig of Kesar, the highest madrig of... is... is not Ayan. Ayan is not the highest madrig. There's, there's the Ayan of the Yesh, which is the, the non-doing of doing. Right? That's the Ayan of the Yesh. Which is the lowest level of Shabbos. There's the ayin, there's that's the ayin of the yesh, and then the ayin of the lower yesh, of the yesh of Anivra, of the created yesh. Then there's the ayin of the yesh, Aboira, which is beyond beyond doing, beyond Tanua. Right? So there's ayin, ayin, no non doing that's non doing corresponding to doing, Tanua corresponding. Then there's Makam Amanucha, which is beyond that. And then there's the real dvekas is in yesh ayin, where it's 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 uh, it's yesh and ayin together. It's not if if you if you say let's put it in in, in simple language. It's it's the madre, the madrega of ayin. Not simple. It's keser and malchus. It's ayin and ani. It's 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 back backwards and forwards. Ani and ayin are the same three letters. That the madrega of keser is something that includes. I want to call it a paradox, but, but, the, but the oymic of it, this idea is that it includes both the yesh and the ayin. What this means is like this. If I, if you say that... If you say that if I need to be... If I, need, if I say that I need, in order for me to connect to HaKadosh Baruch if I need to connect to something that's transcendent, 
The first level, okay, I have to stop doing work. Okay, I understand that. Then they say, on a higher level, I have to do no tenua, absence of tenua. If I'm saying that it's an absence of tenua, that in itself is agdara. That cannot be the end because that in itself is, 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 a, is a particular definition. I'm saying that what's the definition? The definition is that it's transcendent of definition, but that itself is the definition. If it's if it's if it's, def, it's if its definition is that it's transcendent, then its its definition is that it's not imminent, and and it and the absence of imminent makes it makes it transcendent finite. So if I say that gedar of ayin is the level of vacancy is in order for me to connect to that highest madriga, I have to let go of everything that I'm doing in order to be connected. Then I'm connected to something, but I'm not connected to the ultimate, because if I'm connected to the ultimate, it has to include everything. So if in order for me to reach the Madrig of Shabbos, the highest Madrig of Shabbos, is if I can reach the place where I'm have Dvekus simultaneously I'm eating chond. Simultaneously I'm doing work in this or or not work, I shouldn't say when I do Malacha. I'm active in this world. I'm present in this world. Because if I reach a place of transcendence that is that is in the exclusion of my finitude. The exclusion of my body, that it's not the ultimate. It's, you can't say, this is what the Ramban is saying. Ramban is saying, you can't say that the tachlis is going to be outside the body, because the tachlis is outside the body, then, then you're saying that there's something that's outside. There's something that's not be, be yichud. No, there's something, there's something that's not be, be, be yichud shmoy. You're saying this thing doesn't belong in Akhazi What do you mean? Everything belongs there. If it's there, it has to belong there. If, 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 if there's finitude, it has to be part of the, the shlim, it has to be the ultimate, it has to be part of the ultimate. How do you express that? It says a Shabbos has to be we take a reach madre of Vegas. Let, let's try, let's say what Al Rebbe says. Then we'll or I'll think what I think he's saying. Then translate it. Al Rebbe is saying is like this. He's not saying you shouldn't make parnasa. Didn't say that. Didn't say you shouldn't have, you should you should let go of your job. You that your, 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 your Shabbos and during the week I'm Shabbos. I have to make parnasa. Didn't say that. Maybe you don't. Maybe everyone has their own cheshbonus. But he didn't say that. He said you don't have to have tears of parnasa. Tears of parnasa is anxiety, worry. Doubt what's going to be or what tomorrow or the bank that stop. Let go of the violence. Let go of the of the anxiety of it, of the tiddas of anasa. Why? Because the tiddas of anasa really shows that you're only connected to the gvul. You're connected only to the world of gvul. I'm only connected to the world of the way it functions. I know if I invest this, this is what happens. This is it. so. Then I'm worried. I didn't invest correctly. This guy didn't sell me there. I'm only connected to the immediate world. In other my eye, in ain't no more It doesn't matter. I don't care what you say. He said it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm going in another direction. That's a that's a that's a high madrega, but the ultimate madrega is I'll tell you about a Talmud of Yom Klatske, who's a very wealthy man, <coughs> and when he used to do cheshbonis, sometimes when he used to do the cheshbonis, he used to sell lumber, you know, you do this this is twenty dollars, thirty dollars, whatever ruble, and at the end he used to go like counting all these numbers, he used to get into some type of like trance, and finally he would close his eyes and then he would write sahakal enim ulvade. This would happen every single time. If you go to a country of Yom Klatske, the end would be sahakal enim ulvade, but sahakal enim ulvade. <laughs> Is a sahakal of numbers. It's not the sahakal of no numbers. The person has is a, is a bottling, and he says, "Ain't no vada, ain't no He has no business. This guy, Rabbi Klatska, is running good business, and he knows the numbers. It's 20, 30, 40, 60, 60. You owe me. You want to know the sahakal? Really? It's taka ain't no That's a sahakal, but it doesn't cancel out the numbers. It's the it includes the numbers. You taka owe me hundred dollars, but you should know ain't no vada. You want to give me? A, don't give. Me. I'm just telling. You, I don't have. To, I don't have to tear this up on us. I know this is what you owe me, and if you're an ehrlicher person, you have to give me the money. This is the, the, the banishing of the tirdas apanasa, the worry and the anxiety of, of existence. That's, that's the madrega of Shabbos in the weekday. And that's where the madrega of Shabbos always. What is Shabbos? Shabbos is to reach a point of such level of calm, of itnua, of beyond movement, in a place that not that I'm just resting from work. Okay, I had hard work. Okay, now I'm taking, I'm, I'm sleeping. Okay, mazel tov. But Shabbos is that I'm getting to a place that is beyond, I'm, I'm still, I'm perfect, I'm whole, and I'm doing. And being in this world from that place of, of, of being. And therefore, when I do from the place of my being, my house is lichtik, and my kids are all happy, and everyone's having a good time around the Shabbos table, and no, one, no, one's, with, no one's nervous, and no one has any type of uh, clippers that are going on. Because it's Shabbos. It doesn't mean that you don't function, but you func- you're functioning from a place of Shabbos. You're, you're, fun- you're functioning in this world from a place of Vegas. And this is the this is the answer. So it's taka, it's the shomer, is da is the, the this absence is to get you slowly. First you stop doing work from malacha. Then you get a place. You go to a place of ayin from malacha, 
which is beyond Malacha. So the, it's the Tnu of the Shmir, the keeping, is the Tzimtzum, I'm, I'm Tzimtzum, the Koyach what I normally do in this world, so I should become Koyach believable, infinite, I should get into, induce myself in the higher place. And then, hopefully I get to a place that I can, Mechabal Shabbos also in the place of Zachar, where I can participate and remember Shabbos, and my life becomes Shabbos thick. And this is the Oymik of Shabbos, every single day in the week, and the gift of the Shabbos, certainly on Shabbos, is the Matana. The secret of Shabbos to be in a place of Yesh and Ayin. Ayin is already one level of the secret, and the ultimate level of the secret is to be in a place of Yesh and Shabbos. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, I'll tell you guests. I'm around just texting.